A prayer offered in Jerusalem 175 years ago recently brought a delegation of Mormon and Jewish leaders to the Holy Land. Elder Jeffrey R. Holland was part of that delegation. I had a chance to talk with him one-on-one -on -one about the historic visit and his own personal attachment to Jerusalem. It's a place of, uh, of promise. It's a, it is a place of peace. Elder Holland talking about Jerusalem a place close to his heart. Uh, I think people are af sometimes afraid to go there, uh, afraid to have their students enroll at the BYU Jerusalem Center or wh whatever the activity is. Uh, and I just wish people knew what I knew about uh, the land. During his tenure as university president, the BYU Jerusalem Center for Near Eastern Studies overlooking the city was established. That's the satisfying thing for me after, after nearly three decades is to show that we've kept our word and that we're people of integrity and that we are now from being uh, some people pretty skeptical about who we were and what we were going to do to have them come to be advocates and uh, a, a people of genuine friendship. Friendship brought these Jewish and Mormon leaders to Jerusalem to commemorate Orson Hyde's prayer in 1841. The prayer dedicated the land as a gathering place for the Jewish people. I'm really amazed that the Mormon church had the vision and sent one man to then Palestine. He reported back that this is the homeland of the Jewish people. The idea for the event came not from the LDS church, but from former New York Attorney General Robert Abrams. I never dreamt that it would turn into the kind of day that it was. How important was it to have that group there? It suggests a level of interest on their part. It suggests a level of interest that by and large uh, we haven't had before. I'm very optimistic about the future of the relationship between um, Mormons and Jews. It will be a very um, productive friendship for both groups but also for the world. Understanding the history, uh, will there ever be peace in that part of the world. I pray that there will be peace there. There's a lot of complexity to that question and a lot of scriptural evidence that there will still be trouble. But uh, our obligation, I think, is to, is to stand for peace, to live peacefully, to be good, peaceful people, and to do our part. Folks have so much anxiety for what's going on in this country. Well, uh, I won't get political uh, uh, and, and partisan on that. We've had complex political circumstances. We've had uh, candidates who disagreed, and, uh, uh, but we've survived that. We, uh, uh, we've got a lot of good work to do uh, before the end of the world, whenever that is. One last question for the former BYU president. Okay, true or false? Middle of the night in Great Britain, BYU's playing Utah. Are you awake watching? Yeah, yeah, I, I watch. I watch and, <laughs> and I stream KSL. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I, I may be silly, but I'm not foolish. You know, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure I catch a game.